I think they're getting a more balanced offensive attack. Looking at the box score, you see O.J. Mayo and Wayne Ellington combining for 32 of 46 points. That's pretty good. Here's what sticks out at me, though. Blue has 16 field goals and only two assists. It is hard to maintain that type of offensive pace, but O.J. Mayo showing a variety of offensive skills from long range, not getting to the basket as much as he has been during the week, but really showing uh, some great ability long range two assists to three turnovers here's paul harris working it for the white team he had 12 points for them and uh greg odin obviously the story inside for white only 10 points and uh four rebounds for greg excuse me six rebounds for greg odin so he's been effective but not dominant they're getting good balance inside and that to me is really the big difference obviously mayo's injury hurt uh, blue there in the second quarter, but White's been able to open up a 12-point lead because they have good balance. They've got Oak working inside, but they have Scotty Reynolds, Paul Harris, and of course, Bill Walker all over the rim, all above the rim, and that's been the difference. Yeah, and it's reflected their points in the paint. How about that 32-10 to 10 for the White? They were getting everything right around the rack. O.J. Mayo was due back in the second half. He had a, a cut open above his right eye and that elbow from Paul Harris. He, Took him into the locker room, get him some stitches, but the report was he would come back. Greg Oden. Greg Oden only had 10 points in the first half, but he was perfect. He was five for five. Look for the big fella to get a few more touches. And you gotta figure that guy's gonna be back. Oh, stop it. Billy Walker. Up and down. For a limited time.